Yo, what's going on guys? Canadian Dipper here, back for another review. Um, today we're going to be doing um, Outlaw Georgia Peach. Um, I'm getting this one out of the way. I was, I was holding off for a while on doing this one, but um, because of the recent news, um, about Outlaw Dip, I decided to jump on this alternative here. Um, so yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I posted that uh, meme that Outlaw Dipco posted on Instagram, that they are no longer um, shipping Outlaw Dip products to Canada. Um, I guess over over certain things that Canadian Customs are doing, like uh, holding the packages for a certain length of time, I think up to 10 days for some, um, and I guess the packages are coming damaged or they're, they're uh, being broken. I don't understand the situation that much, but... Um, in my personal view, I've never had any issues with Outlaw Dip being shipped to me in Canada. I have Swedish Snus delivered to me in Canada before without any issues, without damaged product. So I'm a little bit intrigued as to what's really going on with this Outlaw Dip stuff in Canada. Um, because, you know, as I said in my previous videos, dip is already very difficult uh, to obtain in Canada, right? Like, I mentioned that you have to go on the reservations, and you're still paying 10 bucks a can, and most times the can's going to be uh, expired. So... Outlaw Dip was kind of a a blessing in disguise because I mean you could ship this stuff to Canada right and it's reasonable price I mean you're paying what, what's five bucks or six dollars or something um, what's the exchange rate on that right I think it's probably close to the ten dollar mark in Canada when you're paying five bucks US so you're still getting a good deal with this when you're buying it from Canada as I've said before I'm not a huge fan of Outlaw Dip um, but for what it is it's better than a lot of alternatives out there it is um, I think there's only maybe one competitor, maybe two competitors for Outlaw. Um, as I said, Whitetail isn't the best at all. I did not enjoy the long cut Whitetail whatsoever. I do want to try their new pouches or whatever they got, the Whitetail racks. I do want to give that a try. I want to give them a second shot with that. So I will probably order some of that, but as of right now, um, I want to get through my snus order, but the main focus of this video was I wanted to discuss, discuss uh, the Outlaw Dip shipping to Canada situation. Um, I don't know about you guys, have you ever had issues? with Outlaw Dip coming to your address in Canada. I do know that when I was on my trip to Canada, um, when I did that Outlaw Vanilla, um, I had that shipped to my house in Canada and it, it came. <laughs> I mean, it took a, maybe a little more than a week, but it was nothing to really complain about. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe just because I have, haven't had any bad luck doesn't mean other people 
haven't, but I don't know. All I'm saying is that it sucks for Canadians, man. It really does. Ella Dip was kind of a, a gateway to some form of getting their nicotine fill, and now they're not going to be able to have it. So, it sucks, man. It, it's important to have access to the border when you're Canadian and you want to dip. It's so important to have access to cross the border. But obviously right now, with that doofus Biden in office, he won't open up the border. Even though down in Texas, they're holding football games and everything else, but they just won't open the border. It makes no freaking sense whatsoever. I am sick and tired of Biden. Uh, anyway, guys, <clears throat> uh, let me know what your opinions are on the matter. Um, have you ever received a package that took forever? Or did you ha have a package that came broken and it was teared open and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below if you've ever had issues with outlaw dip being shipped to your house because with my experience I've never had an issue whatsoever so I'm curious about you guys and what's your thoughts on it um, maybe you're getting your dip elsewhere like if you're if you're Canadian living in Canada let me know how you get your dip or your tobacco. I mean, do you grow your own? I thought about that for many years, about growing my own tobacco and making my own dip. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do do that. So I'm curious to know how Canadians get their dip nowadays because it's tough times for dippers in Canada. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw in this Outlaw Georgia Peach. I probably will not like it because um, first of all this can has been sitting for a, a while and I never put it in my fridge I never did anything with it it was just sitting for a since my trip to Canada in August it hasn't been opened whatsoever um, so I don't know it might be a little dry. <coughs> Excuse me. In case you're wondering, I'm not going anywhere in public. I'm just going for a drive because I can't sit in that house. I just can't. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's hot as hell. Um, I'm going to the Kinzu Dam in Warren, PA. I got my kid with me in the back. He's going to be my sidekick today. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll continue the video and show you guys the Kinzu Dam. We'll see. Anyways, let's hop into this. Now I notice uh, I've been saying for a while that I'm going to be starting truck driving school. And I'm beginning to realize that Pennsylvania is not very semi-friendly at all. The roads, I mean. Um, it, <laughs> like, just coming down this way, like, lots of curves and downhills. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is not very semi-friendly, and I couldn't imagine going over speed limit in that in a semi in PA man especially in rural PA a lot of winding roads um, let me know if you guys if any of you guys have a CDL license and whatnot and uh, what's your experience with driving in Pennsylvania or in other parts of the states and uh, give me some feedback on that because I'd be intrigued to know Okay. Yeah, 
that does can you see that there looks I don't know it doesn't feel very moist anyway well it's sticking to my finger so but um, the one thing that I do got to give outlaw dip props to it does kind of look similar to tobacco um, it doesn't feel the same and you know you still get floaters but it looks like a cheap dip if I'm being honest but at least it's, it's better than whitetail 100% if you're going to go to an alternative outlaw should be one of them um, I'm not gonna give away the other company just yet until I do a review on that one um, because I feel like that one will be the best one out of all, but as of right now, Outlaw is the go-to for alternative dips. Okay, I'm going to pack a pinch here. Oh, God, yeah, it's very dry. E. Oh, I should have pulled over and did this. But, yeah, it's kind of falling apart on me. That is a big ass pinch. That is a fat boy pinch right there. Yeah, it's falling. Hmm. <laughs> Very dry. I took way too big of a pinch there. Now I got it everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but just a little bit. Oh well. As I said, that can has been sitting for a while. But yeah, I'm curious to know how you Canadians get your dip. So if you want to let me know in the comments, comments, that would be great. Now I got another thing for you guys. Ugh. a lot about what to do with this channel right it's one of the many things I've been talking about in my videos and for a start okay I'm gonna see how this pans out so for each subscriber that I get I will give you a gift. That's right. I will send you a free can for the first 10 subscribers. So if you subscribe to my channel, I will send you a free can. You can either tell me what you want and I can do my best to get it. Or if you want, I can randomize it and send you a mystery can. So, I already have one subscriber. Um, I cannot remember his name at the moment. I will pin you in the comments. But because you are my first subscriber, I am going to... I'm going to give you this free can of Kodiak Wintergreen 
long cut. And I will do that for the first 10 subscribers. So the first one, uh, you've been commenting in most of my videos. So if you want to reach out to me and figure out where I can private message you so I can ship this off to you. I hate wintergreen, as I said. And I saw this and I thought this would be a first good giveaway. So, um, get to me as soon as possible so I can figure out where to ship this to before it expires. I just got this the other day, so it's still, it should be still fresh. And it's the brand new Kodiak can design. I thought that would be a cool first giveaway for you. So there you have it. I absolutely hate wintergreen, so I will not dip it whatsoever. So congratulations. Um, so yeah, um, my first 10 subscribers, I will send you a can of your choosing or a random. Now this first one, I'm sorry that, um, um, if you do not want this can, then let me know and we can figure something else for you. But if you want it, then private message me and, uh, we'll figure out where I can ship it to you. So there you go. There you go. Now, this is gonna, that's gonna be just uh, just to see how well I can get this channel moving. And I thought it was an excellent way because, I mean, who's gonna turn down a free can, right? Um, I will be making another Swedish Snus order soon. So now is the time to subscribe. And uh, because when I make those orders, you can tell me what you want and I will fill that in with my order. So if you go on snuscentral.com and look for one can uh, that you want, then I will, or I can just go on snuscentral.com buy the can and ship it to you personally instead of me sh having it shipped to my house and then uh, shipping it to you from my house I could just go on I could create an account mainly just to do that to be able to send you guys um, a can of your choosing unless you want to dip a US smokeless dip product I would have to ship it from my house because I don't know of anywhere online where I can do that and please know that some things are limited right there's a lot of stuff I can get in PA for you that maybe you can't get where you are but there's certain things that I can't get either like that Gold River I guess that is merely um, just a uh, West Virginia and Kentucky product so I cannot get that in PA but uh, my first subscriber if you want the Kodiak wintergreen can it's uncracked then uh, comment below and let me know where I can message you or email you at so I can ship that off to you ASAP. I'm not really enjoying this. The Outlaw Georgia Peach. I feel like um,
I feel like Timberwolf Peach is better. <laughs> Timberwolf makes pretty decent stuff. I mean, like I said, I don't really dip uh, fruit flavors that often. I haven't in years. I usually stick to uh, naturals, straights, mints, and uh, one sec guys, I gotta check my GPS. Sorry about that. I had to check my GPS as I said. But yeah. Oh, uh, we're almost there. <clears throat> I may film uh, when we get to the dam because I think it's a really cool area. It's the Kinzu Dam near Warren, Pennsylvania. So uh, maybe I will. Um, I'm going to do a cutout here and then when I get to the dam I'll do like a little vlog thing there but um, we'll see so I think I'm going to cut this out and then add when I get to the dam alright guys so we are somewhat at the dam here this is the big overlook. The dam is further that way over there. And then uh, I'm going to walk down here and get a bigger, a better view of the dam. But it's a pretty nice area. My kid is sleeping. Look at that. Hey buddy. Wake up. Wake up. Well this isn't going to be very much fun. <laughs> I hope he's not grumpy but we'll see. So here we go. We're on our way. Aren't we Bubby? Huh? Yeah? We gonna go check out the dam? Huh? Are we gonna go check out the dam? Huh? Yeah. yeah, there's a big truck. Look, it's a big truck. Oh, he didn't honk his horn, huh? But yeah, it's really a nice area out here. I'm not a huge fan of Pennsylvania because this is the reservoir and uh, the water isn't the best quality <laughs> and you know I kind of want to live somewhere where there's some like decent lakes like a great lake would be nice or even an ocean but for PA it's actually not too bad scenery wise and it looks like a uh, little bubby here is excited he's never been here before yeah, yeah. are you excited huh are you excited yeah, yeah. Yeah? Uh, Pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah. Come on. We're almost there. Are you excited? Huh? I don't think he knows where he's going. <laughs> Do you, Bubby? So this is it, Bubby. It's the Kinzu Dam. He's just so excited to see it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, be careful. So we're getting a little bit closer here. Oh, 
he fell down, but he gets right back up. Come here, Bubby. Hold my hand, please. So we're at the dam. A lot of my buddies and I come here fishing further down the stream. Pretty beautiful sight, isn't it, Bubby? Oh, you don't want to go down there, huh? But this is the Kinzu Dam. But as I said, the outlaw Georgia peach is not very good. I mean, it sit well in my mouth. Oh, you okay? Oh, you okay? Yeah, a little tumble. But yeah, it sit well in my mouth. But other than that wasn't very good. Having fun, Bubby? Huh? So yeah, guys, I think this is gonna conclude our uh, trip to the dam here. Yeah. Bubby, let's come this way. My kid is screaming his lungs off. I think he's getting tired, so, but if you're ever near Warren, PA, I recommend coming to check out the uh, Kinzu Dam. It's quite a sight. Um, but yeah, as for the outlaw Georgia peach, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, it sat nicely in my lip and wasn't too bad that way, but I did not like the flavor that much. Timberwolf peach is better in my opinion. But yeah, guys, I think this is gonna conclude this video. Uh, I decided to do something a little bit different with this one and uh, <clears throat> it's quite a scene here. This guy thinks he's going to hitchhike. So, yeah, we're wrapping up the trip here. Um, I threw in something else because I don't think I'm going to... I'll probably finish the can, but... This, it was kind of dry as I said. It was sitting for a while, but whatever. It's, <laughs> what can you do, right? It's still a decent product. Um, the flavor just isn't there for me in this, the Georgia peach. But um, we're going to head home here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I said, um, my first 10 subscribers, um, I will give you a can of your choosing. Now you may say, well, you're just trying to buy subscriptions. Okay. My issue, if you're gonna think that is, well, what's to stop you from unsubscribing to me after you get your free can? That's a risk that I'm going to take. 
but I feel like it's a good deed, um, you know, to give. So, and I don't mind doing it. And I thought it was a good way to kind of boost the channel just a little bit. If it doesn't work, I won't do it again. But like I said, so to my first subscriber, again, I can't think of your name. Uh, before I post this video, I'll double check what your name is and I'll tag you in the comments. But as I said, you are the first. So if you want this Kodiak can, a little refresher for the end of the video, um, let me know in the comments where I can private message you and you can send me your email so we can discuss where I, I should ship this to. Or if you don't want anything at all, that's cool too, but the offer's here. And as I said, I would like to get this out to you as soon as possible because I don't want to send you an expired can. So um, it's a brand new Kodiak can, the new design. I don't like wintergreen, so, but I liked the can. So I was like, what the hell? If I found a mint, a Kodiak mint in the new can design, hell yeah, I would do a review, but I haven't been able to find any Kodiak mint in a long, long time. But as I said, this can's yours. Um, I'm getting another COVID test on Sunday. I will not ship this to you until I am, I have a negative COVID test. Unless you don't care, I'm just looking out for you because I'm sure uh, the COVID would die by the time it gets to you anyway, like it wouldn't remain on the can. I will dose uh, the outside with hand sanitizer before I ship it off. If you're worried about that, if you're not reasonable, so you're probably gonna have to watch the end of this video to be able to know that I do care about spreading my COVID. Um, I will not send this to you while I do have COVID, just so you know. So don't worry about that if you were. But like I said, as soon as my COVID test comes in and it's negative, I will ship this off to you, but I still gotta wait for you to reach out to me as well, so maybe by then it'll be all good. If you don't care, I'll ship it as soon as possible. But, just so you're aware. All right guys, this is gonna conclude this video. I hope I added a little bit more entertainment to this one. I'm still trying to think of ideas. You know, my wife was telling me the other day, you know, I need to do something, like I need to, add some entertainment to it so I was asking her some ideas and I don't, I don't know um, I'm a little bit more joyful today for some reason don't know why I still have the same problems but maybe I'm having a good day and I finally got out of the house that's probably what did it but all right guys this is gonna conclude this video stay safe out there uh keep on dipping keep on snussing snoosing whatever your mojo is and uh, i'll see you guys on the next review all right guys take it easy